my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be doing another tools and tips video. This one will be paint racks and parts holders, meaning the holding your parts while you paint, either hand painting or uh, airbrushing. And um, for racks, I got paint racks and I got a marker rack we're going to be going over. And um, yeah, so let's start it off with what my friend here, Ron, sent me. And um, I will show you here first, because I got a box of parts to show you guys. And I'll show you what I mean by a box of parts. Here are the instructions. Here's the company, Paint Pal Studio. Uh, I looked them up. This is their Kickstarter, but the pitches on here are good. I guess it's already out and about and on the market. And uh, actually, here, let me show you the box of parts. Hold on one second, guys. All right, I got two of these, so I'll show you this, and I guess I'll build one, and then we'll see it assembled. Here's how it comes. I think the other one's gray. It must come in multiple colors. This looks like it fits uh, Vallejo-type bottles, I would say. Yes, for sure. Look at that. And it's a modular system. You can add on any way you want. You can change um, the bottle types, everything. It's got little drawers if you want to add, and I'll show you that in the... On the Kickstarter page, I picked that because it's got uh, very good, uh, very good images. And so let's zoom in here. And there you go. And you can see on here it has different bottle types. And that's what I meant by uh, drawers. It shows it in pounds from Europe, but uh, another page has them in uh, English dollars, American dollars, but. Uh, it, it, it's you gotta search for Paint Pal Studios and uh, you'll find them. But uh, you can see it here. It is an orange. I didn't see orange. Mine's gray and black. But see the little these little slots here. It came with uh, these. These fit right into the side here, and that's how you attach all of them. And uh, it's a modular system, and I'll show you how. Nice, you can really get this laid out. Look at that. Now that is something right up my alley. <laughs> it looks like my other racks that are over here. Uh, utilizing space underneath, also drawers underneath. Yeah, there you go. So I will, uh, after I pause the camera, I'll build one and then we'll look at the assembled one. But just, you know, there's so many choices that uh, I'll just show you one, how it looks. And um, it looks pretty sturdy. Look at all the extensions and risers and all kinds of parts they make. It's really cool. But, uh, yeah, I want to show you this because it's just a box of parts to, to start with. And um, so that is the, the first rack I'm going to show you. So let me uh, let's get this out of the way. My little Chromebook here that uh, seems to come in handy lately. All right. Let me show you what else I got. This is a parts holder for uh, a portable parts holder. I will show you that in a minute. That's got the little alligator clips in it. It's really nice. I put the price on everything. 15 bucks that cost me. This is a more beefy. This is very heavy. Wow, is this heavy. This is a more beefy uh, holder with spring arms and whatnot with a steel base. It's made for... Uh, this is made for... Uh, circuit boards, I'm guessing, is what it looks like in the picture, but we'll go over this in a second. Uh, great idea to hold heavier parts if you want to paint something that's uh, bigger than a high grade. Everything's in the box. That's why we're going to do everything. I'm going to show you everything here, then we're going to... Let me see if I can pan this out. Hey, there we go. Right, this was 25 bucks. This is a marker rack. It holds over 100 markers. Again, what I'll do is... It's, this is white. It snaps together. I will build this off camera, and then... Uh, I'll show you the results of that, and then uh, let me get this out of the way. My little uh, panel lining pen is in the way here. I've been panel lining. New color came in for the panel liners, which will be back in stock this weekend. I want to congratulate uh, what you guys have done for me. Uh, they sold out quick. Well, anyway, let me get this other rack. It's behind me here, but this isn't going to fit in the bench. I'll show you the sides of this thing. So yeah. This is all actual wood. 
and I think it's got to be glued together with wood glue. Um, this is a rack that holds full-size spray cans. I mean, full-size, like the um, Rust-Oleum and Krylon type cans. I have large cans that are taken up space by Vallejo, and I've been meaning to get them off uh, the shelf so I can make room for other stuff. This is a wall rack, so uh, I'll build this. And uh, I'll show you this at the end, too. This actually mounts to the wall and holds those giant cans. I've never seen anything like it. And I thought it was pretty unique. Put that down over there. So uh, that's another unique rack um, we're going to highlight here. But anyway, let me pause the camera. I'll pull up the first rack. Uh, I'll get that built. And uh, we'll start the test. All right, my friends. Only a second went by for you, but it was a little bit of time for me. And there it is. The first rack look airbrush holders built in that's pretty unique and that's an add-on too see it you can add that on and they all fit with this uh, modular system where you use these to uh, clip on anything else you want they snap in and everything snaps in together it's all universal you can get drawers that fit under here if you want let's see what it holds I think this holds uh, the Mr. Color Size it. Yes, yeah, it holds them nice too. Look at that. Yeah, and it holds, uh, I guess, Tamiya, the Tamiya ones. Let me grab one of them. Oh, hold on, guys, gotta reach back. Here's the new mixing colors I just tested. Yep, there we go. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like this. Very. Oh, look at this. I just noticed this. Hold on. Sorry, guys, I'm reaching over here for something. It holds, yep, it fits the Leo type uh, bottles here. Look at that. There's one here. Yep. That's pretty cool. So again, if you went through the choices, you'll see, I mean, the drawers and all kinds of stuff. Obviously, this is, uh, he sent me uh, air, uh, uh, airbrush holders here, which is cool. And you can keep adding on, and then uh, I guess you can go around a corner, it looked like. Uh, really nice. But I do like the raised idea, where I could put stuff underneath to save even more room. Uh, my mixing cups and whatnot, you know. Copies off, you know, so I can now you can hold tools on here. You're making up more room, uh, which I definitely need. If you guys have seen the room, it's uh, a little silly <laughs> the amount of stuff that's in this room, but there you go. That is the first one. This is the uh, Paint Pal Studios modular rack system. Uh, very impressive, very sturdy, holds the paint good. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, that's a winner. I do like that. That's great. Thanks, Ron, for sending me this. Uh, I will build the other one. I think it holds these bottles. And it looks like it has some drawers in the other one, too. The other the box that I showed. So, yeah, at a later date, I'll show them. Once I'm all assembled, I'll, I'll uh, put camera to it so you guys can see it. All right, let's pause the camera, and I'll grab another product. All right, next up will be this mini portable parts holder. This will uh, this is like almost like a travel parts holder. Let's get this box out of here. Oh, 15 bucks. I'll have the links for all this stuff. Everything besides the other one, I believe, is from Amazon. I think I get everything from Amazon. All right, check this out, guys. All right. Here are our clips with magnets on the end. Put the lid back on. Or I guess you can flip it over and use both. And it's a nice portable uh, parts holder magnet and I think you can bend these check this out is that great for 15 bucks look at this high quality clips too they have the plastic on the end so you're not going to mark up your pieces let me see if I can uh, let's see how strong it is let's do some of the stuff here some of the pieces I did my panel liners on here's the white so let's go ahead and uh, clip that in any old way just to test it yeah that's not going anywhere at all I'm showing it bent so you guys can see it can actually hold it up. Let's try a whole sprue. Let's see if it can hold a whole runner. Probably not, but let's try it. Now I can take that back. Look at that. Now, that, now you can either airbrush your parts. Say, oops, say we got an airbrush, right? So I'm going to air. Oh, let's go a little pretend uh, like we're doing this. All right, we're going to airbrush these, right? And then and just put them aside on here. Now it's a little tight. If you're going to do a bunch of parts, you got to make sure they're not hitting each other. But like I said, you can just take this lid off, right, and flip this over, right? Let me see. Yep. There you go. And you got even more space. Ah, uh, it's a pretty cool 
pretty nice piece, man. Particularly these high quality clips with the rubber ends so you don't damage your parts. Uh, I do like that. And I also like the portability. Let's get this airbrush out of here. So um, you can't you can't have enough of these. These things are awesome, but the bendable is a great, great feature. So let's go ahead and put everything back in. Take this piece off. There we go. Well, that's a simple one to demo. And this fits anywhere at my desk, uh, which is a big thing which I'm going through now. I'm going through a lot of space-saving things, and that's why I'm testing and buying a lot of these type of products. Anything to organize and uh, clear up the room is big with me. I'm going to have to get the models, I think, out of the room to make room for the just the supply is where I'm headed, I think. But, uh, yeah, great product, high quality for 15 bucks. Really nice magnets, really good clips. The bending wire is sturdy. Great product. This is a good product. All right, let me grab another one. All right, guys, next up is a similar idea, but not so much for airbrushing, but holding parts. If you're gluing something that's sensitive or uh, painting something, um, here is the base. Now, this is super heavy. Uh, rubber feet, you put them on. It came with extras, too. I, for some reason, it came with four extra rubber feet. This is really heavy. Um, and it's got four bar, uh, four arms. And you can actually choose if you want to put the rubber ends on them. So it comes with extras, like that. And if you need sometimes you need something with a better grip, particularly if it's on metal, you're not going to damage it. So I guess you can do that. Um, put them on or off. I left it on two of them and then left two bare. And it actually comes with a couple extras, too, which is pretty nice. Um, all right, but this is heavy. I'm curious to see how heavy this is. Let me grab my scale. Oops, sorry, guys. Let's get my postal scale here. All right. I'm going to have to uh, bend in here so we don't get that reflection on that scale. Let's just try and get that because I can read it. You. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. All right, we're all zeros. All right. I'll put it upside down, I guess. Let's see. This is pretty heavy. Yeah, one pound, 13 ounces, just for this piece of steel. And I guess if you add everything else, because this stuff, it's all really heavy, well built. With everything on it, two pounds, 10, 11 ounces, 12 ounces. Look at that. So, it's got the weight behind it to hold up the product. Let's see if the magnet, let's get this out of here. Let's see if the magnet and the bars are strong enough to hold stuff up. I mean, not that we're repairing carburetors with this thing, right? All right. Oh, that is tough. Oh, let me change the camera angle for you guys. Get to the end here. Oh, there we go. Oh, one of our little rubber ends is over there. So there you go. I guess you can bend. Wow, look. It is uh, It is sturdy. We should try and hold. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Let's try this. Let's try something here, guys. All right, let's get this so I can aim it. Let's grab this guy. And this is a little heavier than a high grade. That's one of those uh, toys, so to speak, with the frame. Was it a G-frame? So let's see if I can hold him up completely with this. These, don't forget, this is a magnet. It's not... Uh, let's go into the arm. Oh, boy, I think it's going to work. Let's see. Check this out. Not that this is what we're going to do, but look, it'll hold him up. And uh, if you're going to do detail work, particularly when you're done, or if it's a heavy part... Or if something needs to be glued, you know, a lot of times uh, you need to have it held down while you're working. And uh, you can hold the part and do this, leaving your hands free. Uh, really, really impressive. This is a nice piece. I do like this a lot. It's heavy, but it doesn't take up any room either. And don't forget, you also have four, four of these to work with. And I guess if it's something real heavy, you can put all four to hold that up for you if you want. And, uh, but I think it's good for glowing, but I mean, you guys could probably picture what you're going to use this for anyway, but a 20 something box, what was this? 20 bucks. I, I will use this a lot. This is a really nice piece for the bench. Uh, look at that. I do like this. This is awesome. Love the yellow. looks like the same yellow on my, uh, my motorcycle. Yeah. So there you go. That's a good one. I do like this. Um, I'll have links to everything below. Uh, I had this, I think it was on Amazon, showed up in like a day or two. Uh, really nice piece. This is quality stuff here. Um, all right, let's get this out of the way, and uh, 
I guess it's onto the rack, so let me uh, start uh, with the last two racks. All right, this is the marker rack. Uh, I'm going to build it off camera, but uh, I want to show you guys the pieces involved in this thing. Look at this. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a hard plaster board or something. It's pretty nice. It comes with a screwdriver and these screws, so I'm guessing it all comes together, and we probably bolt it around the corners, I'm guessing, to hold it all together. The instructions are simple enough. Yeah, you put them all in, and you can adjust how you uh, the size to see if it fits the markers that I have. So, uh, yeah, let me pause this. I'll pop this together, and we'll, uh, we'll see how it looks. And poof! There it is. Uh, it went together pretty easy. I thought the screws would be required. I guess they want you to screw in here to hold in. And there's a hole here, here, but it's it's staying together pretty good. You could probably glue it together too. Right? So I didn't bother with the screws uh, for now anyway. Uh, and these are modular. You can pop these in. You can see these go here. I did them up until this point to show you if you want to put something bigger in here, you could. Now let's see if it fits. I know it fits that. We tried, this is what, display? This is the display. Yep, it holds that. This is Mr. Are these uh, Gundam markers? Yep, I was wondering if it was going to hold them, and it does. Now, they stick out, but I think no matter, this is how they are, because you got to grab them anyway. But uh, Sharpies, I know it'll hold a Sharpie for sure. Yep. But this would probably look fantastic filled in. I, I like a full shelf. You see my room. I, I, I love uh, organizing stuff like that. So this is great because it's tall and not very deep. So it'll fit. This one's still sealed. Let's see if it can hold with the shrink wrap. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I would put them all in the exact, you know, maybe up and down each brand. Okay, here's Sharpie. So, yeah, I like this. It holds a lot of them, too. And there's different sizes. I'll, I'll put a link to this one. And from this page, you can pick the size. I'm, I think the other one's a little, one's even bigger or one's smaller. Where's the display? Right here. So, yeah, I would probably do this for sure with uh, each row. I have a lot of markers too. I got the Hobby Mio ones too I gotta put up here. Check that out. Now I left this out so let's see if it'll hold one of my nippers here. Oh look at this huh? Let's try the bigger ones from Bandai. Oh it fits those too. The God Hands. God Hands. We'll leave the cover on that. Check that out. So that's, I guess that's an idea where you can remove some of these and make room for uh, larger items. I mean, I have stands for a lot of this stuff, but I mean, I guess I could put my scissors and whatnot if I want. So yeah, uh, anything organizing that works, it's for me. This actually works. Um, my pliers here, will that fit? That fits too. And all this stuff's on the desk. I can get it all off the desk so I can clear off. That's the goal here. We've been working on that for the next few months, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, great product. It just works. Um, it went together like nothing. Popped together like a master grade. And um, I thought it would give me trouble, but it actually didn't. So yeah, I love it. That's a great little piece. It looks great once it's full. I pull out my I have a ton of markers. I'll fill this right up. I might even leave my uh, my nippers in there too. I keep my nippers now on. Uh, Hold on, guys. Let me show you what to keep it on. This. This is from Micromark, and uh, they hang on this. See that? And I got a ton of nippers, that's for sure. So, but uh, I like them on here too. I know by color. This is my uh, Micromark. Yep, my Micromark. So I know by color which ones they are. I know that's the Bandai's. I know that's the Spades, the light blues, or God Hands. So I, I know what I got there. Even tweezers, I guess we can put in here. Yep. Check that out. Yeah, it's a good product. This does a lot more than just the markers. This is a winner right here, guys. We like this one. All right. All right, let me pause this, and let me see if I can get this uh, big wooden one built that holds giant spray cans, and uh, then we'll wrap this up. Good product right here. All right, my friends, here we are, and it doesn't even fit in the camera. Uh, I haven't found the wall I'm going to mount this on yet, but it went together with four screws. I should have uh, should have filmed that. You can see my carpentry skills just using... Uh, a powered screwdriver <laughs> but it was counter it's countersank had countersinks for the screws really high quality wood nice nice pine it seems to be coated 
Look how tall this is. Now check this out. I got some of my, I told you I got these Vallejo paints. And look at this, man. It holds them. Look at this. And then some. I'm going to mount this on the wall. I'll show you how big it is from the side. See it? Not big at all. And awesome. We're at, this is 60 bucks. I think worth it. This is a really nice piece. It holds all of my... Uh, it's going to hold all these. I have a big collection of these. and But I, I have a few extra spots. So I guess I'll put some of the... The, the other big cans I have. The uh, Rustoleums or the, you know, the Krylons. Whatever I have. So uh, yeah, these are full size cans. And uh, let me go grab one. Let me grab a Rustoleum or a Krylon. One second, guys. All right, we're back. Here's that stone paint I just tested. Huh? Fits right in. Matte clear from Rustoleum. What do we have here? Fusion all in one, gloss clear. I tested that a while ago. How about the brand new AK War Game paints? I just got these. This test is coming up. This is Golden Armor. Oh, fits fine. It holds all of them. Cyborg skin steel. There we go. Now that is going to take up less space than I have them, so I can see them all. And it's going to go against the wall, only about uh, eight inches deep, maybe ten. Look at that. So yeah, that turned out to be a winner. Might even need more of them, but uh, I know I have uh, just under twenty for the Vallejo paints for sure. And you can see the color on the cap, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's all of them. And uh, I liked all of them. Everything was good in this test. Uh, I can actually re recommend everything that we tried here. Sorry about the moving camera. I wanted to show you the size of it. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, also good for the garage. A lot of cans and uh, WD-40 or stuff for the car. So I guess this is also a good garage type item for your uh, cars and motorcycles. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. A quick run through of some uh, paint racks and some product holders, you know, and oh, and the rack for the markers, too. So it was a rack and holder. I, I say holder, you know, I mean, holding your parts. Anyway, guys, there you go. That's the test. It was uh, it was an easy one for me to do because uh, uh, a lot of prep goes into uh, paint tests and I have a bunch to test. But uh, with my wife still in rehab, who's coming home very soon, actually. Uh, it's tough to get a lot of prep involved because I got to work my regular job, check on her, and then uh, come home and get one of these things set up and done. And uh, it's been really crazy, but uh, I should fall back into a normal zone very, very soon, actually. So uh, you guys have been great. Um, I'll post when the, the the panel liners, my new panel liners, sold out instantly, all of them. I mean, it was like 200 jars. It's gone. And uh, but the full restock is coming in uh, within a few days. They'll have them for the weekend at Gundam Pros. So those are coming back, and I believe we got a new color coming, brown. A lot of guys use the brown for military, and uh, um, so I did get a nice brown color, and that's coming out too. And um, so there's that. So I will keep you guys, you know, updated on that when all that stuff comes out. But I know uh, Gundam Pros will have a full restock of my panel liners uh, this weekend. Here they are, right here. Here's the yellow. Look at that. So anyway, thanks guys. Great test here. I like, uh, I love uh, racks, yeah, as you can tell from the room. And I need a little more organizing. It's a little crazy here right now. So uh, the room's going to look a little nicer once I get all this stuff in, in its proper place. Anyway guys, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Like the video if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit that notification bell so you guys always know when I'm posting a video. I'm still trying to do two a week. I'm trying to hang in there with uh, what has happened, but uh, we are doing it. So uh, you guys are the best. You keep me going. We're going to make it that goal. Next goal, I guess, is 80,000 subs, and then uh, onward and upward to the 100 thou. And then at that point, I could do this full-time is the dream. So anyway, you guys are awesome. If you want to subscribe to my Patreon channel, I'll put the link below for that too. That um, It's only 4 bucks a month, and you have a direct feed to me. I'll answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. I actually chat with a lot of you guys. If you need a video... Of a demo, I'll do that too. Uh, I'm working on one actually right now for a patron who just joined, and uh, yeah, that helps the channel too quite a bit actually. And uh, anyway, guys, there you go. That is the test. I hope uh, one of these products you guys liked, and I'll have a links below for all of them. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. Have a great rest of your week. We will see you in the next video.